Russia is set to hold a ceremony in May commemorating the end of World War II, but more and more Western leaders are boycotting the event, citing Moscow's involvement in the current Ukraine crisis. One of the latest leaders to join is British Prime Minister David Cameron, making North Korean leader Kim Jong-un one of the most, most prominent guests to attend. Here's Arirang's Hwang Song-hee. British Prime Minister David Cameron has joined the growing list of Western leaders boycotting Russia's Victory Day parade in May. That's according to his official spokesperson on Thursday local time, citing concerns about Russian activities in Ukraine. For that same reason, German Chancellor Angela Merkel and U.S. President Barack Obama have also said they will stay away. That makes North Korean leader Kim Jong-un one of the most prominent confirmed guests so far. Russia, finding itself shunned by the West, has been cozying up to North Korea. They have designated 2015 as a year of friendship, promising deepened political, economic and cultural cooperation. Some remain concerned about this blossoming relationship, but others say Moscow could play a bigger role in inter-Korean relations. Russia is aiming to use its ties with North Korea to expand economic cooperation with South Korea. That means Russia could support North Korea at multilateral talks, but it could also become the middleman in sorting out the problems. Experts say the growing military alliance between North Korea and Russia is alarming. The two isolated states recently announced plans to conduct a series of joint Army, Navy and Air Force exercises this year. Some also point to the possibility of Russia arming the North Korea military with advanced weaponry as a means to keep Washington busy in the region. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.